All right, so I just saw the Pikmin 4 trailer again. I'm so, that was such a weird announcement. Like, oh my God. When I like saw it, I was just flabbergasted. Like they they kind of they kind of made it a slow burn. Like it wasn't just immediate excitement. They had Miyamoto come up on screen and talk about Pikmin Bloom. And it was kind of painful because it's like, I'm like, because it's like, okay, you like Pikmin Bloom, Miyamoto. I love you, man. But like, can't you make like a blog post about that? I'm trying to learn about the future here. And then he's just like, here's the main event. And then he shows a trailer for Pikmin 4, which shows a realistic bench. And that's basically all it shows, but there's there's some things you can see from this. First is that the new Pikmin logo apparently is the Pikmin Bloom logo, which is kind of disappointing because it looks kind of eh, but whatever. Like it's, I don't know, the original Pikmin logo is really awesome and I'm kind of sad they're getting rid of it. But the yellow number four, I also think that looks kind of eh. The logo, not the best logo. The game looks pretty good graphically. I don't know if it's a step up from three. I'd say it's about the same. Some texture work looks odd. Like the bench really just threw me for a loop, but the game's still in development, so it'll change. Pikmin 3 got better over time. Um, let's see. I'm just, this is just such a strange trailer. Like there's, it's so odd. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to get from this. Like, I don't know what the gameplay is supposed to be like. He didn't, he specifically stated that he didn't show gameplay. So this might not even be indicative of what the game will be like at all. But maybe there's more real life elements inspired by Pikmin Bloom. That could be something. Maybe that's why he talked about it for so long. Um, maybe there's a connectivity between that and the theme park. Cause it seems like Miyamoto's into that. Like there's a clock and there's an alarm. That's how they like start the announcement. And it's and almost at, it's almost at like a flat 2D perspective, but I don't think it's going to be a 2D game. It's probably going to be 3D, right? Because like that would make complete sense. It wouldn't make any sense if it was like a 2D game like Hey Pikmin. Um, real life objects might be back. It might be like collecting treasure or something. Uh, we have no clue what the goal of this game will be or if there'll be any captains or any new Pikmin type at all. Um, if we assume that the um, four, the Pikmin that make up the letter four are going to be in the game, then we, we just assume the normal Pikmin are in. Uh, we don't even know if any of the special ones will be in, which is unfortunate because those are the best ones. Uh, not all the best ones. Blue Pikmin are pretty, pretty baller. This is just, I wish we got a taste of the music too. This is such a strange teaser. Like, I, I don't know how to feel. I really don't know how to feel. So weird. So weird. But yeah. Pikmin 4 is real. That was quite, I feel like I was, I've was i been jostled for far too long for this, but I'm glad it exists. I'm glad we have confirmation. And I hope that freaking logo changes. It looks so ugly and that's all we have to go off for this game. I mean, the butterflies are back. I could say that they're back, the butterflies. Oh, this is just so strange. I don't know how to feel. Hmm. He said there might, he said like something about them taking streamlined gameplay from Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So that you can focus on the strategy more, which I think is actually really clever. And that's what made Pikmin 3 Deluxe feel kind of new is that you focus more on the strategy because a lot, a few more elements are automated, which the Pikmin series has gradually been doing. It started as this very tactile feeling thing where like you pick every Pikmin, like you press the A for each one. Like they have a, lot, a little bit of individuality, but over time it's been streamlined. And I think that's actually made the gameplay more fun because it's made it so they can have more tough challenges but still be doable and such. So I think this one will probably go more in that direction if I was to assume. I wonder who's going to develop it. It's not going to be A-Ting, right? The people who made the fucking port of uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It's got to be Nintendo, right? But I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe on the website, it'll say something. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go salute some information.